Hello YouTube fans, thank you for being here and checking out my channel and for you return viewers, I'm very grateful. Thank you so much. Just have two words to, to uh, share before we get into it and then uh, I will tell you who's coming through today. So if you hit that like button and comment on the video um, or if you share it of course then YouTube pushes this out to a bigger audience. And yes, that helps my channel grow, but it also helps these messages get to the families that they are meant for because these messages are quite narrow. So any of that that you do, I am very, very grateful. And then if you like this kind of content, you might want to subscribe because I'll be doing more and you never know, it might get your loved one coming through at some point. And that is all of my business out of the way, okie dokie. So uh, today I have a, okay, sorry, I was listening. Um, I can't listen to them and talk at the same time all the time. I have an older couple that are coming through. It's like, you know, grandma, grandfather um, type couple. They're, they're like holding hands, they're very sweet. They were together, you know, but they're, coming through specifically not for them they're talking about their grand i'm going to say grandchild but this feels like their grandson now he's not particularly the grandson who's um who's their fo who they're focusing on he's not uh young i get the feeling that he is or was and i'll explain in a minute teenager or early 20s perhaps that age bracket i think when, when they're talking about this whatever happened and i'm going to shuffle a little bit more and pull some cards although right at the bottom of the deck so maybe i won't this might be my shuffle right here um <laughs> i'm just kind of here talking to myself today y'all <laughs> It's a very unusual reading in, in terms of what I'm feeling. Usually it's pretty clear. I make my intention, you know, I say my little thing before I start and then I connect and I ask my gatekeeper to bring through uh, whoever spirit would like me to speak with today and speak for. And so that all happened according to plan. But instead of them telling me about them and their message, they're wanting to talk about this young man but not in a typical way. Normally they, let me back up. I'm not sure there is a normal anymore, but often they will talk about the family member. There's a message here that they're wanting me to bring forward about this young man that they keep saying, he's not with us. Tell them he's not with us. So I interpret this to mean, and the feeling I get from this is that this young man either was or is it's like the the family of this young man that's living here doesn't know where he is or this could be past tense and it feels to me like there was a question and like like he disappeared that's the easiest way i can say it y'all like he disappeared and the family did not know where he was. They couldn't find him. They'd went through all the normal steps of how to um, locate someone if they, you know, disappear or they, they can't get in touch with them. It seems to me like they did all of that and the grandparents are, and, and so the parents assumed at some point, I guess, that this child had died. And the grandparents are coming through to say, no, he's not with us. If he had died and had crossed over successfully, he would be with us. We are watching out for him. Of course, he would be right here with us, but he's not here. That's the message. They just keep saying it over and over again. He is not with us. So, boy, this is a very narrow message, as I said in the beginning for whoever it's meant for. And if it's not your story, but you think it might be someone you know, please share it with them. So this, uh, I get, yeah, let's see the cards backing me up here. Um, and if y'all don't know my readings, I don't read always the traditional tarot card meanings. I read the energy and then sometimes this helps either tell the story or it's just a picture for you to visually 
connect with the story. So, but in this case, it's almost pretty literal. And somebody walked away. So I get the feeling maybe this young man went on a trip, like an adventure kind of trip is what it feels like. Like maybe he was going mountain climbing. Um, could have been, you know, some kind of an, out, it just feels like maybe an outdoor kind of adventure, maybe vacation, long weekend, whatever. That's what it feels to me. He was like maybe in the, an unpopulated area, I want to say wilderness even, but somewhere where it was unpopulated. And I believe there, there was an accident, something happened. And, and it was, and I felt that energy before I even saw this card, the tower. So I think that the best I can describe what I'm feeling is this young man may be somewhere in a hospital with no identity. In other words, if somebody found him, if he was injured and somebody found him and took him to a hospital, he could be in a coma and doesn't even know who he is. That is sort of the energy that I'm getting from this. Or if this happened in its past tense, this is the story they're telling me about what happened. <sighs> Let me see now, let's tune in here. So that's kind of catching you up to date to where I was. <clears throat> Let me just look at these other cards here real quick. I don't know if you can see those, if they're even on camera, yeah. Yeah, this is just kind of telling me the same. I think he was, uh, I get the feeling that he was potentially going on again on this adventure trip, maybe with friends. Maybe he got separated from the friends. Um, that that could have happened. And um, maybe he was even in Africa on a safari kind of situation. That's what that reminds me of when I look at the lion. But then everything turned. Everything turned. His world turned upside down. Oh, goodness. I just, let me go to the top of the deck now. Again, that's just the energy I keep getting. And they're saying, what, shuffle? Really? Oh, well, my, okay, hang on. Okay, they're saying pull cards and then shuffle. One second, let me get some. Okay, so they're saying pull cards. And then shuffle. All right. So three more cards. Play a spirit. <clears throat> yeah, I just see the family. I see, um, gosh, some of you actually may have, and I don't know if I've ever gotten this message. I get the feeling somebody actually went to a psychic to try to find information about this person. Clearly the family of this young man who's left behind are having these sleepless nights. You can see this is the Nine of Swords. Just angst, anxiety, worry, uh, sleepless nights, um, just heartbreak is the way I, what I say when I look at that card. <clears throat> because you didn't know, thank you, Spirit. You did not know, you don't, maybe still don't know what happened to this young man. Um, and I'm going to come back. No one, I'll, I'll show this now. Sometimes, if you've watched any of my other videos, I don't talk about this often because I don't want to confuse people, but occasionally, and again, it's not a common thing, occasionally, a soul can get trapped between worlds, okay? Meaning, if they died in a very, very sudden, tragic way, that's when it happens most often, or a violent death. Um, sometimes their soul gets confused. They don't realize that they are supposed to move on or that or or there's or another example is they're holding on because they didn't get to finish something perhaps with a family member or loved one back here in in the earthly plane and and so they don't fully move on or they're waiting to deliver a message or waiting because there's some loved one that they feel like they need to help I didn't get to finish that mission and so they don't fully move on, or they just are so confused, they don't understand that they are, um, their physical body is dead and they need to move on. So a number of reasons why that could happen. 
And I'm not certain if that's not what happened here, but, it, but the message these grandparents are giving me is more that he's, he, he's not here, but he's not there. So that to me either denotes his, his soul is split or trapped, or he could be in a coma because that's very much the energy I get from someone who's, uh, whose physical body is, is alive, but they're not all there. When someone is in a coma, oftentimes they have a foot in both worlds. Their soul or their spirit, I guess you would say, travels between the two worlds. The unseen, you know, their, their veil, so to speak, between this world and the, and the, um, the after world or the non-physical world. That's the better way to say that. And so... I'm trying to, to listen as Spirit wants me to continue shuffling. Now they want this card, okay? So I, I'm still not clear. I was hoping to get clarity about that. Okay. Let me see. But this is just essentially backing up pretty much what I've already said. But the family who is going through this they they just they're looking at all different scenarios it could have happened um okay i'm getting a, a, another message here they feel like they've got they tracked his movements to a certain point and then they they lost it it's like they were able to track him to a certain point and then it was just like he kind of fell off a cliff and I don't mean that in a in a mocking way at all I mean that could have literally been what happened but just his his you know they tracked his movements or his cell phone or his his um, activities whatever it was up to a point and then it just went cold and they couldn't find anything past that um, Obviously, it's taken a lot of strength for this family to survive this. And again, I can't tell in the timeline if this is past tense or it is a current event that some family is going through. I'm drawn to the this chest, what I call a chest piece. That's what it looks like to me on this emperor card. And, it, and it's it's the feeling they're giving me around the family here that's going through this that they just feel like they're just sh moving things around the board but they're not getting anywhere nobody's winning nobody's losing they're just it's just a big game of shuffle is, is what i'm hearing you know they're yeah and i'm getting two there's two layers of energy coming off of this four of swords card let me see what's underneath it yeah there this is a message about the family that's left here they're trying to heal they're very much trying to heal, trying to understand this is, is the words that are coming through. They're trying to, to um, keep hope in this situation. They're trying to keep hope alive. Um, it has caused, the, the good news, it has caused the family to come together in a very special way. Um, as you might imagine, it would bond a family. And then it's interesting now, this not King of Wands has come back. I just feel like this energy of he's, I don't get the feeling that this young man is dead. I feel like somehow he is separate, separated, alone and separated from the family. And I don't feel like this man just picked up and left. I don't feel like it was necessarily out of his own choice that this happened. And there's the wheel again. Yeah, that just everything got turned upside down for him. And there's the same cards are coming back that was sh that I shuffled. It's interesting. And the Ace of Pentacles. And I just um, I I keep hearing. It from this card I keep hearing uprooted uprooted like you would dig something up out of the ground this is a very unusual ace of pentacles in that I don't know what the artist okay thank you the spirit I'll get to that in a second I don't know what the artist who drew this or painted this card meant by these roots I get the feeling that to me, it looks like if you dig a plant up and the roots are still dangling okay so in one sense I get the feeling that this young man was uprooted from his life or whatever was happening, but 
also I get the sense that it, this the traditional meaning of an Ace of Pentacles but is a new beginning, some an offer, a new beginning, something. And so if I extrapolate that, that what I'm feeling is, but this now is trying to put roots down somewhere. Maybe this young man lost his identity. Maybe he had amnesia. Maybe he's trying, but maybe he's not in the hospital and he's trying to create a whole new life for himself because he doesn't know. He doesn't, he's, doesn't know who he was because of whatever this traumatic thing that happened to him somehow oh uh, wow um yeah he's still trying to manifest this has led into gold but there's so much that's unknown behind the scenes behind the veil if you will still many many unanswered questions and, and unknown i wish i had a resolution for this yeah i mean he's just saying now i feel like i'm pulling more of his energy through here and it's hard to see because it's real small, but there's this little pig up here in the corner, <clears throat> excuse me, with wings. He's saying, yeah, when pigs fly, I'll find out who I am. But it seems like whoever I was is in just the energy I get is this person's floating off. His former self is floating away, floating off into the air that he's, you know, he's not granted. He can't, you know, he might be able to reach up this young man and grab a leg but he can't hold on and that it's you know that there's an expression when pigs fly so and so will happen or so and so i'll get so and so when pigs fly like it's not attainable and i feel like that that's that's what the message is he's feeling here and the message coming through in that card it just doesn't feel attainable to him wow y'all i was I'm just going to shuffle one more time and ask Spirit if he can give, they can give me any more. It may be some kind of clarity or closure for this family. Something for this family to move forward with. Please, Spirit, can you please give me any advice or messages for this family that are dealing with this Spirit? Thank you. <laughs> well, okay. I'm, I'm tuning in, y'all. Bear with me while I'm not speaking right now. Well, there's two messages. There's, It's the same message, but it's not. Um, and it saddens me, frankly. I, I'll just tell you, it saddens me. But they're saying... It's an advice, and yet it's just state, it's not really advice, it's stating the truth. Don't, and uh, this is a message for the young man as well as for the family. Don't continue to cry over spilt milk. Don't continue to look back. I know it's difficult. I know that there's a lot of grieving, sadness because of this, but but spirit is saying but you need to find I mean and you've sorry the incense is blowing right up my nose here and I'm trying to blow it away uh, so I don't start coughing um, in fact I'm going to move it over here here we go so at the same time I'm, I'm hearing this is for the family who's here but at the same time, I'm feeling like don't. there is a cup behind this young woman. And I feel like there are other family members that the living family have almost, like if this, this young man has siblings, for example, um, they're saying don't get so consumed by this incident that you forget you have other children to live for and other children to, um, to focus on. And so that feels like a message that this young man is channeling through me for the family that's here. Whether he's alive or dead, by the way, or passed on, I should say, I'm channeling that message from, from spirit uh, or maybe from him by way of spirit. <clears throat> that seems pretty 
clear to me. You know, he's saying, yes, you can still look. Yes, you can still, I, I, I like that. But he's saying he's trying to move on because this world is, to me, is the end of the journey. It's the, it's the last card. It's the, you know, in the tarot, it's the end of the fool's journey. The end doesn't mean necessarily, again, that this young man has passed over. It just could be that if he doesn't know who he is, he's, gonna, he's got at some point to start his life and not keep looking back at these spilled cups. That's the message about him and what he's looking at. And so he's saying to the family here, same message. Don't continue to look back. Maybe that's just the way this is meant to be and you need to look forward now. And he's saying, not necessarily give up on me, but just don't, don't become so lacking in function because you're looking back that you can't continue to lead your life. That's actually what I'm hearing for that. And what is at the bottom? Yeah, and when I flip over the bottom of the deck, King of Swords, that means truth. That message was truth. Yeah, four cups. I'm just sitting there doing nothing. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Which applies to, I think, both of these. I'm stuck. Yes. Is there anything else, Spirit? I wish I had a better closure message or a closing message. I'm, I'm not happy with this, but that's not my job to be happy with these readings. I deliver some tough messages. My job is to deliver what's given to me. So I do the best I can. Anything else, Spirit, you'd like to share? Anything else? Anything else, please? Anything else? One more shuffle. Okay, that one. All right. <laughs> and y'all saw me. I, I think you saw me. I, I don't know if that was on camera shuffling. I did all that shuffling, and that same card came back that uh, was there. So, yeah, he's saying, yeah, I, I have to look at this. And she just looks very forlorn forlorn and yet what i notice is the colors of the rainbow are here so what is she choosing to focus on she's focusing on just nothing she's just sitting there she could be focusing on this rainbow forming over here but she's not she's just saying no no thank you i don't i don't want what this rainbow that's coming out of this cup here i don't want that i'm just going to sit here and look at these spilled cup so i'm just getting the same message again folks it's just spirit is backing me up with that same message well i'm sorry i didn't have better closure for you on this or or a happier message but that is what it is and i you know it, it feels again I, i'm not 100 percent. i'll be truthful with you i don't sugarcoat these but it feels more to me like the energy is that this young man has not passed on, that something happened, just to recap, that caused him to uh, perhaps lose his identity, lose his, um, his knowledge of who he is, and he's trying to make a new life and move on, and he's asking the family because they've looked, they've, you know, and, and if you don't know this information and you, this message gets to the family, that this, then you maybe, maybe that's the good news that will help soothe my heart right now is maybe this will be an epiphany for you to look in a different direction here um, instead of looking for him uh, as someone who's crossed over or passed on. Maybe you look for someone who's alive but doesn't know his identity. Maybe that could be a clue, and I'm just not looking at that in a more positive way. So I apologize if, if I did that. Um, but that may be the message here. Uh, look in a different direction. Look, instead of looking over here at these spilled cups, look for this rainbow. Somebody could still be alive. Maybe he doesn't know who he is, and he won't know you right away, but maybe you could find them. So I certainly hope so. I really, really hope that's the message, and that we'll get to the family who are going through this or have gone through this. So that's my reading for you today. Thank you all for watching. If you made it all the way to the end, I'm very grateful. And again, please hit that like button. Um, it does help my channel and, again, helps this message to be uh, shown to more people so that the family might get this whose message it's meant for. Thank you all so very much. I look forward to reading for you again soon. Everybody take care and I wish you many, many blessings. Bye-bye.